Good morning guys, it's the second morning here. We are in Bratsov today for the Dracula tour. Today we're gonna visit the Dracula castle and it's not that long of a drive because yesterday we were driving for six hours in total and I think this drive is only <clears throat> 40 minutes. Maria already went for her breakfast so I'm going now very very quickly but I wanted to show you the view. The mountains here are so nice. The camera does not do justice to how pretty this is in real life. So let me show you my outfit of the day. Okay, so I'm wearing a turtleneck and then um, green pants. And I'm going to wear sneakers. Then I'm wearing the lipstick that I bought yesterday um, from Kat Von D in the color of Berlin. And I also managed to get on some lashes. Bring my sneakers again. Because we walked so much yesterday, it's really important to wear something comfortable. We totally came back to the place we were last night. Can I introduce yourself? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> These are all of the people who came. I think we went, we came here with like six people for this Dracula tour of two days. But in total we were like with 35 and there will also be some students from the Romanian um, university. But they will join us tomorrow. I have no clue where we're going. Update. Aren't you happy? No, I know why we're here. All because of her. Why? <laughs> yeah. She wanted a smoothie, you know? Smoothie. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like a four hour drive back to Cluj. So, first we're going. gonna oh, take yeah. me later. I know. The breakfast, you guys, I did not film it, but it was like horrible. <laughs> There was no choice, you just got plates with meat and cheese and I don't eat all that meat, so... So funny! <laughs> but for the price, it's okay. We had the first book ever published in Romanian. And that book was called The Lutheran Pathogens. The good book of Lutheran ideas. Hey mom! Uh, Look, this... This thing is a street and has its own name. It's the tiniest, um, narrowest street around here. I'm gonna walk a little bit more. We just took some pictures with all these beautiful backgrounds. I will insert the photo right here. This is. Wait, let me show you. This is Haru, right? Am I saying it correctly? And it means spring in Japanese, right? Yes, she's also one of the students. And you came for exchange to the Netherlands, right? Yeah. Yeah, we are with a group of six. Those are the rest of the people. And that guy right there, he's our guide. But he talks so much. He doesn't want us to take pictures. He's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like cinnamon, it's love. Something I realized is if you look at every single house here on the roof, they have these small little windows, and every window has no um, glass in it. And so, for the ventilation, they just leave the windows open. I don't know if I can show you floor the windows are open. We have arrived in Brann and here is also the Dracula castle but look at the street here oh what did you put on my head my head is too big for this they're like those cute how do you call this Mitch it looks like a snowflake on my head <laughs> Kijk uit man. Iets meer naar voren. Oh ja, het yeah, staat nice. Leuk. Mag ik even van? It's just a bear on my head. But no, I don't like this. Oh, so this one. <laughs> if you want to go shopping. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Different hats and Pikachu. clothes. Hmm. Oh my god, some hair. She's not my best teach. Oh. Oh my god. god. Looks like a part of Disneyland or something. Korean people or the Japanese people? Maybe. <laughs> so, we are gonna walk all the way up there to the Brand Castle where the vampire lives. And a lot of students are here. Who I think come to see this. It's almost time to go. Yeah? <laughs> oh 
This one because uh, <laughs> okay. Then here Queen Mary is crowning uh, day in Alba Iulia in the 1922 and here. Don't fall in there. Don't die. The deep incest. We have not seen any Dracula whatsoever. Disappointed. We are done with the Grand Castle, Dracula's castle. And we came to have a little bit of a snack. Klein broodje. Yes. All we took one bread for just a small snack. Yeah, let me, let me show you. I didn't show how they made it, but... It's... It's put on like a a hot roll thingy wrapped around it. The dough. Yeah, the dough. And That's there's like nuts on there. Hungarian roti. Roti with noce. Noce. Me good. Come look at the deep in the hand. It's a machine to move to. No. Don't just stop over there. It's about a three-hour drive. We are now in Seville, so we're gonna check out some monuments. Um, and I think all of us slept for a little bit besides our lecturer because he was listening to the guide's uh, information. <laughs> There's a like, film festival going on. That's the From second wall. You can see that there was such a big difference as far as the dimensions of the city. <laughs> this town was always from a governor of the uh, local country. Next corner and look to your right. Culinarian. I took pasta. Okay, you guys, it's already the second night here, and some things happened today. When I started recording, the screen did not work, so I tried to record some things without really seeing whatever I was filming. I really hope that I did make some clips of the parts we visited. I made some clips with my other camera, my DSLR. So if this one doesn't work again, I will take that one. Instead, as we arrived in the hotel, we are staying in Pension Junior uh, in Cluj-Napoca for the week from um, today's Sunday till um, Saturday and I will show you the room a little bit. I am staying in a single room and um, Maria is staying with another girl in the double room or the twin room. So, I will give you a quick overview of my room. Um, it's a little bit messy because I unpacked everything really quickly. So, on this side we have the bed, I put my suitcase right here, then we have this beautiful table which I put all my makeup on and some crackers to eat um, and all my clothes I have put in this closet, then we have a bathroom with my toothpaste there, a nice mirror, 
So actually for the price we paid for this for the week, it is so reasonable. Everything is very clean, but there are some things that um, I would really keep in mind before coming here because every hotel we have stayed into um, until now here in Romania um, didn't have any like um, hair shampoo, shower gel, they didn't have any of those things. And this, um, and this hotel in particular, it has a mini fridge but not a mini bar, so no water or anything. Um, luckily we bought our own water. So from tomorrow, the autumn school starts. So the purpose of this autumn school is to create a magazine with a group of different people from different, different cultures, different countries. And um, you have to work together in order to produce a beautiful magazine about the entrepreneurship here. I quickly wanted to explain what, what's really gonna happen. So um, there are different teams who are gonna work on different parts of the magazine, you know, you have your official department, you have your writer's department, you have the event department, you have the sales department, there are different departments for everything. I'm so excited to be able to join the management, but yeah, I need to read a few things before I go to class tomorrow, and tomorrow morning we will walk to class, so that's fun too. Um, but yeah, you have different departments, everyone will be in different, um, working on different things, um, and Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday we have to create the articles so Wednesday night the whole night we're gonna work and Thursday early early morning we have to um, give the magazine to the printer and we'll make sure that it's ready for the event the next day um, because we're gonna present the magazine and we need press for the magazine so in order to get press and uh, people and journalists and whatever you need also a team working on that it's three days of work and then two days is you know um, focused on the event itself but i really want to again emphasize on this tour that i went to i don't know if they will have it um the following year but um i really really enjoyed the dracula tour the um, castle the dracula castle was not that exciting actually but um, it was very exciting to see all of the beautiful views. We made so many nice pictures, you guys. The scenery here is also beautiful. It's outstanding, if I must say. And um, yeah, it's really a must. If you come here, take a guide, especially take a tourist guide because they will show you everything, but they also know everything about this country. So that would be my advice for you. Sometimes I just vlog the footage and I just don't talk or say anything. For the last two days I spent so many hours in the car but I didn't record in the car that much. So it doesn't do justice for how many hours we were in the car. Um, but still it was a great experience because you get to see all the, the, the old remains of the cities and explanation about um, why some cities grew faster than others, you know. So I would really recommend this kind of tours. And I don't really think I have anything to add right now at this moment. I'm also very tired. Um, but I think that's it for today's vlog. So give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. And um, comment down below if you ever want to come here or you've already been um, in Romania or somewhere around here. So yeah, I hope to see you in my next vlog. So till then, stay happy.